This wallaby is critically endangered, although you wouldn't know it inside the fences of this reserve in Victoria. We're constantly having to remind ourselves that these are super endangered, super rare. Today, traps are being set as part of a plan to save the southern brush-tailed rock wallaby. We have the top genetically diverse animals here and we're from those, we're selecting the best top 40. Hunting, the introduction of predators like foxes and then inbreeding drove the animal almost to extinction. As night sets in, some curious wallabies make their move. She's on the list. She's on the list. For those on the list, this is the start of a new adventure. Take him. Take him. Take him. Oh, go on. Take him. You're coming with us, buddy. Yeah. Decades of work brought the species back from the brink. Then bushfires in 2020 threatened two of the three sites where the wallabies lived. We went into full panic mode, um, thinking we're the last place supporting this species on the face of the earth. And it's if there's a fire out there, this will be the last time that we see southern brush tart rock wallabies in existence. The Defence Force evacuated 17 wallabies from the path of one blaze. But the fires ignited a new drive to save the wallaby. Here we are, Little with the Gorge. It's far rarer to find a southern brush tail rock wallaby out here. There are fewer than 50 still living in the wild. But some very dedicated people are keeping track of them. They do come up a surprising way up the gorge. The only way to monitor the wild population is to get down in their habitat on foot. This kind of terrain is ideal for the southern brush tail rock wallaby, but I tell you what, it's, it's a bit tough going for a human. Motion sensor cameras like this allow the team to monitor the population. It had been steadily growing until those fires. The joeys are disappearing once they leave the pouch. And so that's been a real concern for us. There's more food scarcity, so you know predators might have been drawn in here. Baiting foxes and feral cats is a priority, and wallabies from captivity are slowly being introduced. Donations following the fires have helped establish a new safe haven. Given that two of the three colonies um, that existed a couple of years ago were under risk of, of bushfire, um, yeah, we, we don't want to find ourselves in that situation again. The wallabies caught at the existing reserve are being driven across to their new home. This is the moment, releasing some of the first residents for this new safe haven. Hello, mate. There they go. A few dozen more will be brought here over the next couple of months, and then it'll be up to the wallabies themselves to take over the job of growing the population. For every sanctuary that we set up uh, means that there's extra security for these guys to survive into the future and enable future generations to see them and appreciate them like we do. Natalie Whiting, ABC News.